My name is Daniel Wynn, and by day I invest in sports cards, but by night I make videos about investing in sports cards. I am the great curator. Join me on my journey to break even in the hobby that we all love. Hello, sports cards. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. I'm not ripping them off, okay? That was just the inside joke because I get a lot of pushback on my intro. So, okay, sorry. Um, anyways, I am the great curator and welcome to my channel, guys. If this is the first time that you are visiting, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the purpose of this video, just like all my videos, is for education. This is my fun, creative way to kind of spread my message, share my perspective, share my opinions on, on issues and topics in the hobby uh, that I think that you guys can get value from. It's intended for people who are new to the hobby where they can get some information uh, on how to navigate the crazy waters uh, of this hobby so that they don't make some of the same common mistakes that we all have made. It's also intended for uh, seasoned collectors, investors to kind of get a little bit of different perspective on, on these issues and topics that I discuss, so that they can bring bring that perspective back to their group and, and continue that discussion and hopefully get some some type of value out of that, guys. So uh, that's that's the reason I make these videos. Um, if uh, you know if you guys get any value out of this, please like, please subscribe, please share. That type of encouragement really helps me and motivates me to continue to make these videos so i do appreciate that please watch my other videos i have a lot of topics out there that i think are, are interesting and helpful so after you watch this one just keep scrolling i'm sure that you guys will find some value out of those videos um, the main reason that I, I make these videos is because I, I want to spread my, my message, my mission statement, okay, guys, which I've been devel developing over the last few months and the last few weeks on, the, on this channel here. But basically, this is what it is. Um, I, I see a lot of negativity in this hobby at times, uh, which really we have no room for that in this hobby. I see a lot of people who have bad attitudes, who are bad actors, who try to take advantage of other people, and uh, who are rude, who just don't know how to act around other people. And I just don't like that. I don't like that guys. I have, I have no tolerance for that type of behavior. Okay. So what I want to kind of spread is I want to, the message I want to spread is I want to encourage people to, um, be mindful of these things and try to try to conduct themselves in a civil manner. Okay. Try to be gentlemen investors, try to be lady investors. That's what I like to refer myself as, as, as a gentleman investor, where we, we raise the level of civility within our hobby. Okay, I think that if we do that by uh, being respectful, helpful, kind uh, to each other, then if we do that, then we will raise the level of, of our, we will raise the civility of our hobby, of our community. We will strengthen the community. We will help grow the hobby. And if we do that, guys, our card values will rise. Okay, we are all in this because these cards are worth money to us. Um, and we, we, we have fun doing that, but we have to realize that the only reason that these cards are worth any money is because of the community that supports this hobby. So we have to take care of the community. We have to protect the, the integrity of this hobby. We have to help each other and we have to st stomp out all the bad actors, all the rude people out there. Okay. So that's my message guys. I'm going to be spreading this message in all my videos going forward. Okay. And I, it will, the message will be more concise. Okay. So it won't take up so much time in the intro, but you guys get my point. Okay. So that's, that's a message that I want to push. And this is a perfect segue into the, into today's topic, which is, um, how to deal with hobby bullies. Okay. How to deal with hobby bullies. So, you know, to me, the, the word I use is bully. And this is basically somebody that, that tries to take advantage of another person. Okay. Uh, you can, you can fill in, you can change that word with whatever word you want, but in today's lingo, uh, bully is, is the preferred term. All right. And there are two types of bullies in this hobby that I have come, come across there. There's maybe more, uh, that you guys have experienced, but for me, there's two types. Okay. Uh, and we will talk about those two types today and we will identify what they do. And then we, I will give you guys suggestions on how to um, deal with those type of people. Okay. Those type of bullies. So the first bully is the internet bully. This is the person that comments negatively on people's posts for no apparent reason. They, they want to disagree with you for your own personal opinion. They want to tell you how wrong you are. They want to criticize you. They talk bad about you, whatever, but they do it all online. They do it on Instagram, here on face, uh, Facebook, uh, you know, um, YouTube, anywhere, anywhere online that they, that they can hide behind their phone. They do it. Okay guys. So we all know who these people are. We all have encountered them before. 
basically they just try to make you feel bad about yourself about your cards about your collections about your opinions they they want to disagree with you for the sake of disagreeing and they just like to criticize um these people these people they just get off on it for whatever reason okay it, it wouldn't matter what you said what you did they would just they, they, they get off on on provoking people all right so the first thing that i want you guys to realize is that these people um they don't matter okay they, their opinion matters zero uh they are they're nobodies all right they're nobodies and the hobby does not need these type of people all right um, i get criticized sometimes for, for for whatever reason right you know i try to put a positive message but then you know these people try to criticize for whatever reason and we just don't have room for that in the hobby this hobby uh is based off of a love for collecting that that's what it is this it's not political it's not uh you know we're not doing anything to improve the world or anything like that this is just purely for fun guys so there is absolutely no room for negativity in our in our hobby and no room for bad actors or people who want to try to bring negativity into our hobby for us this is an escape this is so much fun we love to do it and we just cannot tolerate those type of people there okay so the first thing i want you to know is that their opinions don't matter at all all right so what you want to do to deal with those type of people is you just ignore them okay delete them block them ignore them do not give them any type of platform where they can spread their negativity to you all right just ignore them okay um if you think that that what they're saying is particularly uh, offensive egregious then it's okay to clap back at them you know if you need to tell them uh what's up you can do that but just don't spend too much time or or or, or your energy to do that and definitely let don't let these people bring you down at all because again their opinion doesn't matter at all they are nobodies they are nobodies okay nothing they don't matter at all all right um the other thing i'll tell you guys too is that these people they hide behind their phones behind their keyboards believe me in person they would not have the slabs to say any of these things to to anybody okay uh, people have criticized me in my own community that i know all right, that I, I recognize their Instagram handles, uh, SoCal Soccer Slabs, and they've said things to me online, and I've invited them to 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 engage me in, in conversations at car shows and things like that, and they don't have the slabs, guys. Believe me, they don't have the slabs to come up to you to say anything, and if they don't, if they can't do that, then what they say online does not matter. So that's that's pretty much all I'll say about that, guys. These people don't matter. Just block them, ignore them. Do not give them a voice and the hobby will weed those people out. The hobby, the community, which is so supportive, which is overwhelmingly supportive, overwhelmingly positive, will weed out these bad actors and then we don't have to deal with them anymore, okay? But that's how you deal with it, guys. Don't let these guys, uh, don't let these bullies try to bring you down. So that's the internet bullies, all right? That's the easy part. We can just ignore those people. The, the main bullies that I want to bring attention to and that I want to try to help you guys deal with are the, uh, the, the, the bullies that will try to take advantage of you for in-person deals, all right? And we all have experienced these guys too. These are the guys that will try to offer to buy out your inventory at like 65, 70% comps. If you're lucky, sometimes I've seen them go as low as 50% of comps. They will just try to buy out your inf entire inventory. These are the guys that will tell you how much you overpaid for your cards and they'll try to make you feel bad about it and they'll try to say hey you know you should just sell out cut your losses reinvest the money somewhere else and try to make your your money these are the guys that will flex large amounts of cash and, and try to entice you to sell your your collections things like that okay but basically uh they just try to make you feel bad all right and let me just kind of make this distinction here um the people that practice these things they're, the practice itself of, of buying bulk slabs and discount, of, of buying people out, things like that, there is nothing wrong with that. I sometimes do that myself if I have that opportunity. Not a lot, but you know, sometimes you can. I know a lot of my friends that do that. And it's fine if that is a tactic. And that in, in itself is not trying to bully people. What I want to emphasize here is the people that do this are the ones that try to make you feel bad try to talk down to you, try to discourage you in the hobby and because they're doing that because they want to take advantage of you. They wouldn't be buying your inventory if it wasn't valuable, if they couldn't make money off of it, okay? So do, when you encounter these people in the wild, do not 
let them feel bad about it. And you guys know what I mean, all right? I'm probably gonna go on a rant about this, but you guys know what I mean. When you do a deal with somebody and they're just rude, they're pushy, they talk down to you, um, you feel bad about that deal. You, When you walk away, if you do the deal or not, you feel bad or you might feel upset, you might feel angry, you might feel like these people take advantage of you. You know what I, I mean. If you're watching this video, you know what I mean. You've had that deal before, we, we all have. I have myself many times before, okay? And what I want to tell you guys is that um, any deal that makes you feel that way, any person that you encounter that puts you in a position that makes you feel that way, that is a bully, all right? That is a hobby bully and you do not need to tolerate that type of person, all right? Um, if they're respectful, if they're nice, if they try to work with you, that's totally different. But if they're talking down to you, if they're trying to make you feel bad about the decisions that you made, the cards that you invested in, or they're just trying to push you into, into making a, a deal with them, um, that is a bully, guys. You need to identify that. So to, do, to, to kind of address that issue, what I want you guys to know, and this is going to be my little pep talk about this, is that um, number one, you don't have to do deals with these people. All right. There are so many people in a hobby that will do some type of deal, some type of transaction with you. You do not need to do to to work with these people. All right. That's the first thing that I want you to, to know. If you are underwater on your cards or you want to sell out, watch my other videos where I talk about how to structure deals, what to do if your cards are underwater. Watch those videos. All right. You can get out of it. You don't need to give in to these hobby bullies. OK, that's number one. You don't have to do deals with them. Number two is if you feel that these people are more experienced than you and you are less experienced and therefore you have to kind of go along with it, with what they say, I'm here to tell you, you do not have to do that. Uh, in this hobby, we are all equal, no matter what. Now, some people may have more money to spend. Some people may have better cards. But regardless, we are all equal in terms of how we can transact. Anybody can do a deal with anybody. It doesn't matter where you come from, what cards you have. You know, if you can work the deal, you can do it, all right? Everybody's equal. There is nobody that is better than anybody in this hobby. There are people that have better collections. There are people that are more active, more knowledgeable, but there is nobody that is better than anybody in this hobby. So never let anybody try to um, intimidate you. Never let anybody try to push you around just because they may have more money, more knowledge, better cards, whatever. We are all equal. When you look at it that way, it doesn't even matter what side of the table you're on, whether you're a seller, you're a buyer, doesn't matter. We are all equal, guys. That's what I want you to understand, all right? So when you when you transact with somebody, when you do a deal, it should be as fair as possible. There should, there should not be one person that has a clear, distinct advantage over the other person, okay, guys? So that's what I, I, I want you to um, understand about that. Um, so when you get approached by these people, Really, there's just there's a couple things you can do. Number one is if you feel like they're being rude, you don't like them, they're off-putting, you don't like their personality, you don't like their approach, then just say, you know what, uh, you know, I'm cool, I don't need to do a deal with you guys, and move on. There are hundreds of other people that you can do deals with. You don't need to deal work with those people. Okay, that's number one. Number two is let's just say that um, maybe they're not as rude, okay, or you can tolerate that, but they they try to structure a deal with you that is clearly. Uh, making you feel uncomfortable, all right? It makes you feel like it's unfair. You feel like they're bullying you, whatever. Again, you don't have to do deals with these people. You can walk away. There, There's gonna be a deal another day, okay? There's gonna be a deal with another person at another time, okay? You do not need to make deals that make you feel uncomfortable, make you feel bad or anything like that, all right, guys? Um, and then that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that, that's really it is. I just, I felt like I needed to give you guys this, this kind of pep talk so that you know how to address these people. I, I, I know that people who are new to the hobby or maybe people that are less experienced or have um, you know, lower end collections or whatever, they may feel like they, they get pushed around a little bit um, during card shows, doing deals, things like that. And I'm just telling you guys that it doesn't have to be that way, okay? Just recognize these people for what they are. They're bullies who try to prey on the weak, try to take advantage of people like that. We don't need those type of people in the hobby, okay? This hobby is based off of respect based off of kindness, based off of people helping each other. Those type of people that act that way, they will get a bad reputation and eventually the hobby will weed them out, okay? They will weed them out. Um, so yeah, so that's that's basically the topic today, guys. 
Um, just remember, try to be gentlemen investors. Try to try to conduct yourself with a level of civility. Try to help each other. Um, try to help grow this hobby. Try to help protect this hobby. Watch out for for these type of bullies. Watch out for these type of bad actors. If you see them in the wild, then you know it's okay to maybe call them out a little bit. You know what I mean? Or help a friend. If you see somebody going through a bad transaction or, or something like that, step in, try to help them out. Uh, but just understand that you don't have to be taken advantage by these people at all. Um, there are other people that you could do deals with. Okay, guys. So anyways, that's my rant for today. Um, hopefully you guys got some value out of this. If you, if you did, please like, please subscribe. Please share this video. Please watch my other videos, guys. I have so much content that I'm putting out on, on a weekly basis for you guys. I hope that, I think that it all has value. I think that all of you guys can, can learn a little bit here or there from these videos. So please just scroll over, watch the next video. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Keep them positive or at least keep them respectful. And I will try to respond to all of them. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.